How's it going guys? Zombie back with some more Power Wash Simulator. I want to start out today's video by thanking my sponsor Dubby for sponsoring today's video and just in general. They have a ton of great flavors. They have a They have some shakers, they have some good merch. <laughs> I'm just not feeling it today, guys. I, I don't... A lot of days, I'm just to the point where I can't handle even talking some days. But, you know, I, I typically try to bring a positive attitude with everything, and I... I don't know. Some days, I feel like I can't do anything to uh, help myself in a lot of ways, but I know a lot of people go through depression and go through a lot of bullshit, but I don't know. Lately, I just haven't felt like recording videos because of like my mental state and I don't know. I just, I, I don't feel the need to talk to people about certain things, but I don't know. I feel it's right to start talking to you guys a little bit more. But I, I'm trying to figure out how to talk to you guys. I'm, I, I just don't know. I know a lot of people go through the same shit I'm going through, but... I'm just, I'm lost on certain things and I want to, uh, I want people to be able to come to me. But it's really hard lately because, uh, multiple, multiple issues arise and people don't really think about things now I've been trying to decide do I keep my channel going PG-13 or do I try to go a little bit more child friendly and me and my wife we've been talking about it she Whenever she's watching my videos, making sure everything's good and everything's operating normally, she'll be like, oh, you cuss a lot. Which I didn't take offense. I'm, I'm not taking offense to it because that's just who I am. But YouTube has uh, been beating down on people who, who do curse in their videos say certain things that are like slightly offensive so I'm trying to get better about it myself but you know no one's perfect <clears throat> trying to get shit out of my mouth right now sorry um, but a lot of people are uh... I've had two or three people tell me hey what's What's going on? Why aren't you uploading? I think it's just burnout right now. And I'm sure everybody gets burnout on video games. Everybody gets burnout on certain things. Which is why a lot of people do reaction channels. And start doing reactions instead of playing games now on YouTube. A lot of people are going to vlogging, doing all that stuff. I can't vlog. Personally. Because I find vlogging a... I can't even say it's a hindrance or a problem. It's just my life is not that interesting. I'll be honest with you guys. I will never sit here and lie to you guys and say my life is the most interesting thing in, in existence. Now, that's not to say if people want vlogs or they want to know how I'm doing. Okay, that's that's cool. But I, I, don't, I don't see myself ever vlogging because it's a 
it's it feels like an invasion of privacy, you know. And everybody, they a lot of people's opinions change on vlogging over time. I'm sure back in the day, like some of the bigger YouTubers, like PewDiePie, I don't think he ever intended on vlogging. Like he does nowadays, or doing reaction stuff, or anything like that. I'm willing to bet he wanted to stay a gaming channel. But, I don't know. I've always been into games, but as of late, I've just been so burnt out. I I haven't really... Like, I, I've, I've sat here and played games, but the content... Like, there's no content in what I play most of the time. Like, most of the time, I'm sitting here trying to get... X amount of money for a car garage in GTA. That like that's no one's gonna want to watch that. So I don't I don't usually upload content that I would watch. Like for example, um, Power Wash Simulator. I will sit here and rewatch all of my videos because I love power washing, and it's really fun to watch. I love the the aesthetic of just sitting here watching somebody clean a, a house, a building, anything. But as of late, I just, I haven't had the interest or want to do that. So I'm trying to figure out, would y'all like react, like my reactions to certain things, like uh, any content like uh, TMZ or something? I, I don't watch that stuff normally. I, in fact, I don't even watch the news. I don't watch anything that happens in my world, in this world. I don't worry about that stuff because it's not affecting me directly. Now, if it's affecting me directly, I'll, I'll say I'll definitely watch it or be right on top of it or something. But you know, nothing has directly affected me personally. Now, I'm not talking like going into politics or talking about politics in general because I hate politics. I hate politicians. I hate a lot of the stuff that they do. And I get a lot of people are into that, but I'm never going to be the person to come along and be like, oh yeah, you should support this politician or yeah, go vote for this guy. I, I'm never going to be like that. I hate politics. You'll never catch me talking about it. I hate talking about it even now. And some people are into that, I'm telling you. There's a huge following for people who are into politics, but I'm not one of those people who are into it. Now, it's, it's fine if you're into it. I'm not saying don't be into politics, but... I personally never want to get to the point where I'm talking about some person in a negative light. I want, every, I want to bring positivity. I, and that's what I want to build my channel off of building positivity and making people feel better about themselves so whenever you see videos that are like negative I'm like really hesitant to post them like like I'm, I'm I think I'm gonna be removing the doom eternal videos that I uploaded because that was one of my most negative videos I've ever done in fact I wasn't really happy I don't like I don't like the performance on it I don't like the video in general it just felt like I was mad the entire time and I never want to go into a game being mad or play a game that's going to make me upset I want to play a game that's going to allow me to have fun and scare me who knows like I, I might go back to Doom Eternal one day but I just the game is not my style Do Doom 2016 I had so much fucking fun with that like you guys will never know how much I appreciate that game the soundtrack is phenomenal everything about it was phenomenal but I want I want to make this video to kind of first off get a power wash video out because I really like power wash simulator and I'm sure a lot of people do but uh, if people are really invested in my channel and they want to listen to what I have to say th th these are the people that I want around and if you're not like if you're not into the whole talky talky get to know this person kind of thing whatever you, you don't have to watch the video but I, I try to invite everybody to be a little bit more inclusive I don't I don't sit here and try to 
I don't want to tell anybody how to live. I don't want to tell people how to feel. But if I could bring some sort of positivity to your day, that's that's something that I want to bring for you guys. I, I love I love seeing other people happy before myself. And I think that's what's been kind of impacting my mental health lately and why I haven't been uploading a lot recently and why I haven't uploaded daily. And I wake up most days feeling exhausted, tired, and not wanting to do anything. But I have to get up and do it. You, ha you can't just cruise through life doing nothing. So I do want to get a set schedule for uploading and recording, but I also want to better myself in a lot of ways because a lot of people don't, uh, a lot of people don't do that for themselves. And that's the sad part because everybody deserves to be happy in life. I don't, I don't ever want to see somebody sad because they just watched a video of mine. I want people to come off of it thinking, oh yeah, that was great. I want to watch another one. Or, uh, that was great. And this guy made me feel better about myself. And honestly, I know every video is not going to be like that because there's no way I can get all that stuff in every video, you know? No one's ever going to be able to pull that off. I don't, th I don't think some of the best YouTubers can do that. But, I don't know, I, I've... I've watched PewDiePie recently, and it's just TMZ. I, and I know he's probably re he said he was retiring from YouTube or something. I don't know what was going on with that, but I don't know. I'm very uh, I'm very open with how I do things, and I don't like to just. It's hard to describe. Um, I want people to kind of take something away from each video learn something not like educational I don't want somebody to think this channel is educational at all because it definitely isn't I'm not a teacher by any means I'm not I'm not a political speaker I'm not a I'm not anyone to look at and be like oh yeah I want to live like this guy but I don't know I'm, I'm very uh, I have my opinions and everybody Everybody should have an opinion on everything that's going on, but I'm just, I'm to the point where, uh, I've lost a lot of motivation to keep recording videos, and I want to record videos, I really do, but there's just certain things that are not happening, and I'm not, and like, I'm not even, like, saying, oh, I want this amount of subscribers, and then this time, I'm not saying I want likes, or anything in, in that fact. I just, I, whenever I fail to upload one day, I'm, I feel like I failed somebody or I'm not going to, I'm not going to be able to make it in whatever environment that I'm trying to perform it. But, and I'm sure everybody has these moments and everybody's thinking, oh, okay, well, just hop back up on that high horse that you had and say, fuck it, keep going. But for some people, hopping up on that high horse and trying to continue what you started to polish out, trying to get going, once you once you kind of hit rock bottom, you hit rock bottom, and you're just like, okay, well, the only way to go now is up. So I want to start by saying, what do you guys want? out of my channel what do you guys want me to do what do you guys want me to record i'm willing to do anything i just i really want to get your guys' opinion because i i want to be able to make people look at my content and be like oh he's actually responsive i want people to feel like they could come talk to me and like come uh just in general, I want people to be able to come to me and feel like they're welcome. I don't, I've never wanted to, I've never ever been the person to say no to anybody. Like, if somebody asks me, hey, if, uh, do you want to come play this with me? Yeah, sure, I guess. 
here, let's go, let's go play it. Let me download it. Or let me start it up. Who knows? But I, I've lost a lot of interest in some of the videos that I've been trying to upload. Like, for example, Alien Isolation. I, I keep saying I want to go back to that. I want to finish it. I really badly do. Just for the completionist part of it. But if I set myself up to be a completionist on this channel, I'm always going to be viewed as a completionist. And I'm, I'm not saying that I don't want to go back to it. I really badly do. But I don't foresee myself ever completing that game because there's a lack of interest with myself and with other people. If I asked somebody today, oh, would you be interested in playing Alien Isolation? A lot of people are gonna say no because it's not it's not a game that was like greatly received or it's not gonna be a classic that somebody's gonna want to return to like I I sit here and tell myself oh what games do people reminisce about what do people want to see with myself I I thought about this and I thought oh Dead Space. I've never played that. I've heard such good things about Dead Space. Let me go try it. Dead Space, the first Dead Space, I really fucking enjoyed, and people really showed support on it, and I really I really appreciate any support that's been given. I don't, I'm never gonna take that for granted. But, I uploaded Dead Space 2. Two videos, and I'm sitting here thinking, okay, well... I don't think this is going to perform well. I was wrong. I'll be honest with you guys. I, I was definitely wrong. Pe people came and watched Dead Space 2, and I was like, okay, well, I need to record Dead Space 2. And then my head got to me, and I didn't... I, I kept on telling myself, don't... Don't upload. Don't, don't record anything, because no one's going to watch it. No one. And I have that doubt every time I upload a video. And I'm sure everybody gets through to that point whenever they're uploading videos for the first time. But I was I was to the point where I'm like, okay, well, I don't I don't foresee this going anywhere. I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna give up. But every time I've given up on something, it it doesn't help me mentally, it doesn't help me any other time. So if you guys can take anything away from this video or learn anything, is to not give up on you on what you want to do. I, I really, I'm one to definitely support that statement. I'm not, I don't want to give up. I want to continue doing what I love to do, and that was, that is, and still is, talking to you guys and playing games, and hopefully y'all can escape the reality of whatever you're going through. Like, it doesn't matter. Even even if it's like you lost a loved one recently, or you you just you just got into a you got a breakup just happened. I, I can't even fucking speak now. Um, someone just broke up with you. Uh, you're going through something with your family or your life has just generally been shit lately. I want to be there for you guys. And honestly, helping other people out is kind of how... It kind of helps me in a lot of ways because it makes me think, okay, maybe if I help this person, maybe I can feel better about myself because, you know, I help this person. Which some people say is a toxic trait. That some people say, oh, well, you're, you're doing it for yourself. Whenever people are looking at you thinking, oh, okay, well, he's doing it for himself. What, what's the purpose then? What, why do you do it? Why, why are you, why, why do you even try? At this point, I don't even know why I want to help people. It's more, I enjoy being that person that somebody can come to. And if somebody's not talking to me and someone close to me is... Hurting, I can't bear the sight of it. 
and th that's the same with everybody that is subscribed who isn't subscribed. I want to know how I can help you in the long run. Because I do care about everyone who has supported me, who has even just been around it. Even, even somebody who's watched like two minutes and been like, oh, this guy's not for me. I'm not going to wish that person person ill. I'm not going to, I'm not going to be all like, oh, this person didn't watch my video. Oh, he should, he should die. Although you probably, although you should, that'd be, that would help my, my mental, my mental health personally. And plus, who knows? We, you, you, it might help you too. I don't know. But if you're sitting here like, oh, well, don't, I'm not going to watch this video because it's boring. That's fine. That's, that's up to you guys. I never want to force anybody to stay and watch a video. I typically record because I do it for fun. And anyone who says otherwise or says, oh, I do it for fame. Oh, no. I have never done anything I have done in my life for any particular reason. I just move from day to day doing random shit. Some people might say that's chaotic and not worth doing. You know what? You live your life the way you want to live it, I'll live my life the way I want to live it. You can't just, uh... You can't tell people how to live their life, and I think that's something that I have a tendency to try to do. But I can't control everyone, and I'm not I'm not ever going to try to control everyone. I might, I might throw jokes about it in there, in another video somewhere, you know. But that's just because I'm joking. I don't actually mean to control anything. Because trust me, there, there's a lot of things that you can't control in life, and there's... Sometimes even mental health is hard to control, and I'm sitting here... I'm like preaching about mental health because it's not a... It's not easy to do, guys. Whenever you're in that headspace, in that depressive mood, you're not feeling yourself, it's not fun, and I get it. And a lot of people have that problem, like myself, but don't try to fix their headspace. Now, I'm I'm not one for talking and for talking about this in general, but you know, I I think everybody should be able to talk to somebody, should be able to go to somebody, even if you don't know them. Which is why I say, hey, if you're going through something. Just give me, like, send me a message on YouTube, or comment down below, or if you're a little bit, if you're not comfortable to it, with uh, talking over, like, a comment section, you can, you can literally message me on Discord, or anything. I have multiple places where you can ask me how to deal with something. I, I'm, I'm always here, I don't have anything to do, and, but I do, I do. I technically do have other things to do, but you know, I want to be there for everybody. Even if I'm like dead asleep, I want to be there for somebody just so I can help them out. Just even, even if it's just like, hey, keep your, hel your head held high. Sometimes even that helps. But I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of rambling on about this kind of stuff. I, I really want to, t I really wanted to kind of have a relaxed a relaxed uh, video kind of just talking about where my headspace has been and why I haven't been uploading as much as I have in the past because I've, I've been doing really good since August of this year and then September like the middle of September I kind of lost what what my head was doing I couldn't fucking think clearly of course I I'm, I'm very skeptical about how the medicine that I've been taking has affected me and that's something that I never talked about with you guys I wanted to come out and say yeah I've been I've been taking medicine for number one mental problems and mental health and trying to bring myself to that point where I needed 
I need it to be happy. But I'm sitting here, I'm telling you, medicine can sometimes not help. Honestly, the medicine can help you out, but it's not going to ever fully get you out of the situation you're in. It's not going to make you feel a hundred times better. It's going to sit here and tell you, it's going to get, it's going to give you a little rope to pull on. Like, oh, um, the way my, the way me and my family describe it is we're stuck in a well or the said person who is suffering with this problem they're stuck in a well there's very little foot footholds to get you out of this well with medicine it can be it can either be a little rope that's being thrown down to you to help you out or it could be something that's going to be uh, like a them throwing a huge fucking rock on your fucking head while you're trying to climb out. That's the best way that I've been described it. I've been told this is how it is mentally. It just, it sucks. But I sit here every day, think, okay, well, if I can't focus on one thing, what is there to focus on? So, if you can find something that you can focus on, if you can find something that will, I don't know, make, make it to where you can think clearly and keep all these thoughts out of your head, you're going to be so much better off. Which, I'll be honest with you guys, I still don't, I still don't have that thing to kind of keep me focused on. I, I, I find it hard to focus on one thing at a single time because there's so much more going on there's a lot of things going through my head and whenever I'm recording videos as of late I've had so much on my mind I've, I've wanted to say what has been on my mind and I think this is the video where I've just been kind of just throwing my ideas out on the paper kind of been like okay well say what I, I'm gonna say what I want to say if it's offensive it's offensive if it's okay it's okay but I want I wanted to say this stuff because it's uh it's important to keep your mental health at bay while you're moving through your life I'm not one for saying go get mental health or if you're struggling go get help because I've always been really bad about that kind of stuff I've always been very uh, I, I don't like to approach people because I don't want people to think that I'm hurting I don't want people to worry about me and honestly a lot of people are the same way and I think I think people should be able to go to somebody and say hey this is how I'm feeling if you don't have that kind of communication with anybody, it sucks. And I'm telling you, it really does fucking suck. I, I remember I, I was I was so nervous to approach even my mother. My mother has always been very supportive. She's been very, 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 very kind in every way possible. And she's helped me through this mental health journey a lot like way more than you guys will ever know and if you don't have that person the world can feel so fucking lonely and if, if you don't have that person I can be that person if you're if you're struggling with going through your life if you're you need somebody to talk to just Hit me up, even if it's just like a comment saying, hey, can I talk to you about something personal or if you want to keep your personal stuff out of it, that's fine too. If you just need to talk about something, whether it's general acceptance of who you are, if it's the way somebody's been treating you, if, if somebody needs to talk just in general, I'm here. I always want to be there for somebody. Yeah, my mental health is not okay either, but we're 
we can sit here and be Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. or they, them, whatever you want to be. We could be we could be depressive together, and we could talk about it. We'll we can do we can try to fix it. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that it's guaranteed, but I'm gonna sit here and support you wholeheartedly and trying to make you feel better because I don't want I don't want you to feel bad I want I want everybody to be happy and I want to bring happiness to this to this channel I don't want I don't want anything to be negative if we if I can bring positivity with every video that'd be fucking awesome but this video is definitely not gonna be positive because we're talking about mental health here guys um and I know this is like a one-sided discussion in a way. Like right now, I, the only way I'm going to know y'all's reactions or how you guys are feeling is after I upload this. So obviously that's going to be... It's weird right now for me because I'm sitting here just trying to talk to you guys. And it feels... It's always going to feel lonely whenever I'm recording, but you know... There's ways around that, and everybody has their way around it. I'm not going to try to bullshit you guys and say, oh, yeah, recording's fun some days. Some days, I'm, I am record, and I'm like, bro, I don't even feel like talking right now. I don't, I don't, I'm not enjoying this. I don't want to do it. And then other days, I'm like, yay, let's get this fucking thing done, man. Let's do it. Let's go. And that's how I feel some days, and there's days where I'm like, okay, well... Today's gonna be a shit show. May as well not record. So, if that if that guy's if that tells you how I felt over the past couple days, that's pretty much how it is. But I don't know. You guys, you guys typically like. I'm not gonna say I haven't been receiving support. I haven't had I haven't had somebody to talk to. Because I totally have. I just I don't I don't use I don't utilize it like some people should. And I'm I'm very lucky with some of the people that I have in my life. But I'm I'm sure everybody has their moments where they're like, okay, well, it's not even worth talking about. The past two three days, I, that's how I've been feeling. I don't want to talk to somebody. I don't want to. I don't want to bug people with uh, how I'm feeling. And a lot of people are that way, just like me. But, you know, if you can't talk to somebody about something, then what's even the purpose? I want, I, I really just want people to be happy. That, that's my, that's my biggest pet peeve in general. If somebody's not happy because they're, uh, because of something that they're doing wrong or something that's like slightly off yeah then don't do that but if you're sad because shit like shit in your life has not been good like recently I just lost my grandpa I can't tell you how bad that fucked me up I, I can't I can't even begin to tell people how I'd feel if I lost my mother, my father. Although I do have my beef with my father, yes, everybody has beef with a parent or two. You know, everybody goes through something with their parents. And I don't know. I'm very I'm very particular with how I talk about my parents. Like my father, I I, I love him to death. There are certain things that I don't like about him, and there's certain things that he doesn't like about me. Now, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that my father's the root of all my problems, because that's not true. The root of my problems is I am just depressed, and I can't get through some of the stuff that is in my mind. And some people are just like that. Some people are very, uh, I don't know. It's hard to explain, guys. Some people are very hard to please, and I'm one of those people that is very hard to please. 
because I want to, if I'm not helping people out, I'm not pleased. I want to help somebody out. I want to be there for somebody. It's just part of who I am as a person. Now, I'm not going to be the one to be like, oh yeah, if I don't help this person out, I'm going to be so depressed all day. Because that's not true. I, I, I do... I do have good days, and I'm sure everybody has a good day here and there. But the past two days definitely were not good days for me. And everybody has them. Don't don't ever think that you don't that you won't have them because it's not true. Because everybody will go through it at some point. God, this thing is taking forever. Um. <laughs> But I, I think I'm gonna just like I want I want to be honest with you guys. I never want to keep anything from you guys because I don't I don't think that's something that I wanted to ever do for you guys. I want to be straightforward and tell you guys how I'm feeling. I want to know how you guys are feeling about certain things. I hate this fucking thing. I am I am genuinely getting pissed off now. Why? Mm. <sighs> God, I just, where is this fucking buttress bullshit? I'm going to try to stop talking about uh, mental health because it's it's kind of getting me down. But, you know, I, I do want people to come out and talk to me. I want people to be able to say what the, what's on their mind. I don't want people to feel like, like I don't care. I want people to be able to come to me and feel a little bit more... Where the fuck? I'm literally about to lose my shit. <laughs> uh, but... Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here, guys. If you guys want me to talk more about this stuff, if you guys want to uh, tell me how you're feeling as of late, tell me what's been eating at you, I, because I've, I've told you guys exactly what's been eating at me, and I want you guys to be straightforward with me. If you don't like something on my videos and you want to give me a chance, I will sit here and try to change. I want to be able to include everybody i want to be able to accept everybody for who they are i want people to accept me for who i am but who knows either way i want to express how i was feeling and i want you guys to understand why i why some days i don't upload i want to be straightforward with you guys i've always wanted to be honest with you guys um so if you if you guys need to talk to somebody you guys can reach me pretty much anywhere tiktok twitch uh twitter any just anywhere you can send me a dm and i'll talk to you um but if you guys want to see more power wash simulator videos if you guys want to see me finish dead space definitely subscribe because that's going to be coming soon but that'll be it for me guys I will see you in the next video or live stream. And I hope I hope you guys have a great day. Hope you guys feel better. Hope you guys are doing well. Peace out, y'all.